وَهُوَ وَفَاكُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ And it is he who takes the possession of your souls during the night. When you sleep, you are unaware of yourself. The self-consciousness has gone. Where has it gone to? Allahu Allazi, huwa Allazi yatawaffa, yatawaffaakum billayl. He controls, he possesses the souls of human beings during the night. Wajalamu ma jarahtum bin nahar, and he knows what had you done during the day. Summa yabasukum fi, and after this night, he will again, you know, raise you up in the morning. You wake up, and that is why you know the Prophet used to. Make the dua when he, when he opened his eyes in the morning, you know. When he woke up, Alhamdulillah, he ahyani badama amatani wa ilahin nushur. This, you know, sleep is also a sister of death. It's very near the death. Because we leave, we, 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 we don't have the self consciousness. So that is actually something very near to death. Oh, that is why this word wafat, huwa allazi yatawaffakum, wa huwa allazi yatawaffakum billayl, wa ya'lamu ma jarahtum bin nahar, summa yab'asukum fi, le yakza ajalum musamma. So that the ajal, the time which has been fixed for you in this world should be completed. If you have to live here 30 years, well every night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take the possession of your souls, then you know again in the morning he will return your souls to you, and you will be again, you know, a, a moving human being. So that that period which has been assigned beforehand, that is completed. Then to him is going to be your return. And then he will inform you of what you had been doing. And they plotted against him. The Jews, their rabbis, who were much offended by Hazrat Masih they felt threatened, their position was in jeopardy, so they had to oppose. But Bakaru, and now they started planning and conspiring against Hazrat Masih Allah, and Allah also planned. Wallahu khairul makirin, and He is definitely, Allah is definitely the best of the planners. Is قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ And recall the time when Allah said to Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam, Ya Isa, O Isa, إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ I am now going to recall you. I am now, now going to take you back. وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّ And I will lift you. And this was lift, lifting was bodily lifting. It was not, you know, only spiritual lifting. The whole, tawaffi, the word, you know, tawaffi, it means, Taking something, taking something in possession. And this has been used in three senses in the Quran. Allah yatawaffal anfusahina mautiha wallati lantamut fi manamiha. When we sleep, our consciousness is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is also tawaffi. When we die, our nafs is taken, our life is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we sleep, only consciousness is taken. Body is with there, present here, and the life is also there in the body. Only consciousness is taken, and this is tawaffi. And when someone of us dies, his, his life is also taken, along with the consciousness. This is also tawaffi. And Hazrat Isa was taken, Allah took the position of Isa, his consciousness, plus his life, plus his body. And that was the complete tawaffi. Inni mutawaffika. This word is applicable in its total sense on Hazrat Masih only. Otherwise, when we die, this word is partially applicable because the body remains here. It goes to the dust. Only the life and the consciousness is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you know, when Jesus was taken, he was taken whole. The body as well as the life as well as the consciousness. Is قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِسَىٰ إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّا And lifting you up towards me. وَمُتَحِّرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And I will purify you against those who have disbelieved you, who have leveled charges against you. I will absolve you of all the charges. وَجَعِلُ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And I will make those who follow you over those who have denied you. And that is the thing we find throughout the history 
Christians have been above the Jews all the time. And now, in our time also, all the Jews, you know, they have a state of their own, and they are, so to say, now very respected, they hold very respectable position. But this is also due to the protection of the Christians. That's under the protection and guardianship of the Christians that they have all these facilities and all these positions, otherwise they themselves are nothing. And the Christians are above them. And this will happen till the day of judgment. Then all of you will have to return to, uh, to me. And then I will judge between you about those things in, about which you had been differing. Just uh, see to the style. And when Allah will say, O oh, Isa, son of Mary, Did you say to the people, Take me and my mother also as gods besides Allah? Qala subhanaka ma yakunu liya naqula ma laysa li bihaq. Now look to the humility. Who is he? Jesus. Rasulullah. Wa kalimatuhu. Wa ruhum minhu. He will say, Subhana, glory be to you. It was not possible for me to say, of which I didn't have any right. In kunta kultuhu, had I said so, faqad alimta, you must have known it. Talamu maafi nafsi. You know whatever is in my mind. Wala alamu maafi nafsi. I don't know what is in your mind. Inna kanta alamu al you are the knower of all the unseen. I didn't say to them, Illa ma amartani, except the same thing which you commanded me. Ani abudullah rabbi wa rabbakum. That worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord, my sustainer and your sustainer. Wa kuntu alayhim shahidam ma dumtu fihim. I was watching over them. When I was with them, when you recalled me, now you were the watcher over them. And you are witness over everything. 